How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in this walkthrough I'm going to show you how to get the power bracelet and also complete the bottle grotto stage in Link's Awakening. So let's begin. So guys, the first item we're going to get in bottle grotto is going to be the stone beak. We're just going to head forwards into this room. You can light up the room if you like with some magic powder. Use it on the torches. And then in this room we're met with some stolfus or skeletons. If you take them both out, you will get the first key of this dungeon. And there it is. We're going to pick up the key, head back to the last room. And then on the left hand side, you'll see that the room is not open. We can use that key to open this room. But be careful because the spin blades will get you. As you can see, they got me. The correct way to do it is this way. Tease them and then head forwards. The hard hat beetle is going to be a big problem here it's going to block all your way in ah well the correct way to take him out is to deflect him with the shield and there you go we've got the stone beak so the next item we're going to get is the compass from the main room that we were in where we lit the torches we're going to head two rooms to the right till you reach the room with a crystal a spark and the stone out hit the crystal to release the gate and then we have to hit the other crystal to bring down the other gate to get to the treasure chest, take out the enemy, block his sword attack and slash him. And inside we've got another key. Now we're going to head back one more room. Don't trap yourself like I did there. Stand on the stand and hit the crystals to release the platforms and to go back. And there's a locked room just below us. Now with the shy guy we need to to go back to back with the shy guy, he mirrors your movements so you're going to have to manoeuvre him around into your back to back and then hold down sword attack for a charged attack to kill him. Pick up your heart and inside the treasure chest we have the compass. So once we've got the compass we're just going to head back to the room with the owl and the spark and then we're going to continue on to this next room where we're going to jump over with the rocks feather onto this button which will release the next treasure chest and then we're going to hit the crystal and collect our key for the next locked door and then we're going to make our way up to the next room here I forgot I can't lift stuff yet because I really needed health here but we've got shy guys again get back to back with them they mirror your moves so get back to back and then launch your charge attack and that will release the next key which is back in the other room to get back there we're just gonna use the rocks feather jump through this room release the crystal head back and from the owls room once you get there we're gonna take a right and there is the key pick up the key so head back to the room where we destroyed those two shy guys. Take a right to the new room where we'll be met with some spiked hard hat beetles. Use your shield and then slash them once they're on their backs. And then we open the next room where we'll be met with a small puzzle. To complete the puzzle, we need to push those two brown squares into the center. Watch out for the spark as later on I do get trapped by it here. And then again here. So push those two pieces and it will unveil an underground path. Now we're just going to go and head over to those stairs and go down to the path. The path is pretty simple, just jump over on the platforms. Just time yourself. No rush. I've only got one heart left. But lucky for me, in the next part, I can get three hearts and fill up my meter just before the mini boss battle. So just make it over to the other side of the platform. And we'll be met with the Henox. So my tip here is to, when he charges at you, jump to the left or the right, and then get behind him and swipe him with your sword. You have to do it three times to defeat him. Now we've defeated the Henox, we've unveiled a warp path back to the beginning, but we're gonna continue on. So jump over these gaps to the end of the room. 
And here, we're met with this vortex thing. Wait for it to stop sucking in everything and then jump over and slash him. So then we can reach the treasure chest, which will give us the map. Now we're just going to continue on and get the power bracelet. So for the power bracelet, we're going to need some of this magic powder that's just lying around in the air here. Pick that up. And in this treasure chest, if you need it, of course, why not? We always need some more rupees. And then we're going to head to this locked door, which will unveil two boo ghosts. What we need to do is head to the torches, light up the room. And that will scare the boo ghosts. And they'll disappear and we get a new treasure chest. And inside that chest, we get the power bracelet. Now that we've got the power bracelet, we have the ability to lift things like pots. So you can go to the next room, test it out, lift up a pot. And you can smash them. So we're going to go to these four pots, smash through these. And now we're going to go to the one opposite the crystal. So then we can jump over to the other side, slash the crystal, get to the chest. And we've got another key. Now we're going to go back to the crystal while standing on the orange side, of course. We're going to hit the crystal and then make our way across. Okay, there's quite a few enemies over here, so you're going to have to plan a strategy. Because there's the hard hat beetle, four keys, and a skeleton. So once you get the opportunity, take out the hard hat beetle. Keys are easy anyway. Watch out for the skeleton. As you can see, I took some damage from that. So once you've defeated them, don't go to a locked door yet, head down through the lit up entrance. In this part of the dungeon, there is a special order you have to defeat these enemies in. So the pole's voice, the rabbit like thing, you've got to defeat that first, and then go after the keys, and then the grim reaper stolfus thing. So get a pot, hit the pole's voice, then take out the keys, and then the finally the grim reaper block its spear, and then slash it to death and then it will unveil a treasure chest which will give us the nightmare key so the nightmare key will give us access to the main boss in this dungeon so head back up open the locked door as before that we left and we met with some poles voices and a vole just use the pots to take out the poles voice and then take out the vault and it will unveil another underground path so here you can see that the rock this rock drops down like an elevator the one on the other side does not do the same thing it's like a small mini puzzle so once you're at the top pick up at one of these pots and then we can weigh it down and that will let you through to the other ladder which will lead us to where the boss battle will take place so just jump over to the end and then use the nightmare key to open up this room so now we're going to face the genie the genie will launch fireballs at you multiple mini ones at the beginning which you should dodge and then you slash him pick him up and then throw him against the wall if you do that three times you should break his pot so these fireballs we got dodge and then he hides back into his pot you just got to throw him against the wall three times to defeat him once you've done that you start launching these mega fireballs which you're going to have to dodge three times and then you have to slash him to finally defeat him and then we get rewarded with a heart container and it opens the door so we can pick up the next siren instrument which is the horn so guys hopefully this video has helped you out if you enjoyed it and enjoy this series consider becoming a subscriber I'm Simon from LOG Level 1 Gamer why not check out some more of my videos? Until next time, peace.